we are going to create a design using Canva Mobile. So I'm going to open my Canva here. I'm going to click the plus sign. Now, do remember I do have Canva Pro. There is a lot that you can do with the free Canva, but this is Pro. So I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to do a custom size. I'm going to change this to inches. And um, let's do, this is a tumbler size, so we'll put that in there. Don't know what we're creating yet, but it's going to be fun figuring it out. So I'm going to go into elements here, and I am just going to search. Ah, maybe we will put a shape here in first. These are called frames. Let me click on frames here for you. Frame. I am in elements. And these that have the blue background with the green and the sky, these are called frames. So I'm going to add a frame here. Let's do a round one. Now um, I can go into, I can change the size here, yeah. But I can go into, um, I'll go to my uploads here and some designs that I have made. I just got done making some Christmas ones. I will put this one in that frame. So what you do then is you grab a hold of it and you just slide it around until it pops into that frame. See how that works? It's really slick using frames. So now let's add another page here and we will go back to our elements. Let's see, elements here. And we will get rid of the frames and we'll just search for um, summer flowers maybe, huh? summer flowers you can um, search out anything you want here so when you see these ones that have the word pro by them those you have to have a pro account for and then when i'm designing i also like to go to graphics here well these are kind of neat these these funky flowers here i kind of like that so now i'm going to go and add another one go to elements add a green one in there Grab it by the side here and flip it a little. I'll continue adding some elements here. Move this off to the side so it's out of the way. And grab a couple more of these flowers. I'm just winging it here, guys. I'm just showing you, you know how easy Canva Mobile is to use. So I, I do have a stylus pen that I'm using here as well. So let's see, you don't have the pink in there. Grab the pink one, turn it a little bit so they're not all matching. You can also go to effects here. You can change the color, whatever you want. Um, I was going to flip it here too. can't remember where flip is. Down here. Here it is, flip. So you can rotate them so that they don't all look the same, you know, the, the same image. All right, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another one of these. What color haven't I used? Yellow here. I'll put the yellow, make a couple of them smaller. Get them in there, slide them around a little bit, change them up a little bit here. Turn them and this, sorry about that, a phone call coming in. And I'm going to move this up. Now maybe I'll duplicate a couple of them. Um, duplicate that one. I hit the plus sign up here and that duplicated that one. So I'll move that down here, move the pink one up a little bit. Just trying to create a a pretty background here for a design maybe a tumbler who knows what for whoops keeps wanting to move on me all right now i'm going to duplicate this pink one and put him down here in the bottom because it's smaller move the green one up a little bit all right so now i've got that in there um duplicate one more um maybe the orange one here duplicate that one pull it down here turn it make it smaller Bring it in down here. All right, now we can see what else we can add here. You can also see when I have that highlighted, you can change the color by clicking on that as well. You can change it to any of those colors that we're using. Actually, Canva picks up the color palette from designs that you're inserting. Okay, so let's go out here and let's go and find something else to put in here. Um, what goes with flowers? Uh, I'm gonna put uh, gonna put paint splash in here. Get some color in there too. Grab some paint splashes. Hmm. Go to graphics and look at them here. There's so many to choose from. Um, 
let's see what do I want to put behind there maybe this one so pop that in there stretch it out here fill the whole thing with it make it even bigger than that and now because it's over the top of those flowers now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it oops I got to get a hold of it here again and I am going to position it if I can remember where that is here it is bring center back there so I'm going to send that to the back so that it is behind now it oops still in front of the flowers so I'm going to send it back send back send back there we go now it's behind the flowers so now I'm going to go back into the design shrink it down again so we can see it and I'm going to go add some more elements let's see what goes with that um with flowers let's do uh, floral basket and we're going to do retro because those flowers are kind of a retro look all right um go to graphics here oh i kind of like those bikes i don't think they match though so let's look here oops i don't want that try that again go back to my elements here these bikes are kind of neat but i don't know which one's going to look good and I'm going to try this basket in there. Shrink this baby down. Don't like that, but you get the idea of how this works. So now um, I'm not a fan of that. But anyway, this is how you would go about designing. I got a red mark in there, so I'm going to get that out of there. I'm just hitting the reverse bank button here. I've got something going on here. I don't like this red mark in the middle. So what I'm going to do here now, delete that, um, is I'm going to go back to elements. I'll put one of these bikes in there maybe. Looks better than anything else. And then I'm going to go back to elements again and I'm going to search for a bleach spot. Bleach spot. And I'm going to put hmm this bleach spot and then I'm going to send that to the back I'm actually going to shrink it down because I just want it over the bicycle a little bit here so that it takes that away from that now I'm going to go to position down here layer position and I'm going to send that to the whoop, come forward one with it because I want the bleach spot there right behind the bike so that you can see the bike all right, so this isn't a great design, but I just wanted to show you how to use Canva today. So now what you're going to do is you would want to download this. So you hit the download button here and it will bring your image in as a PNG and you can change that to a PDF or whatever you want to do. Here's the two designs, one and two.